aging face that this world has forgotten. What is up, guys? And of course, welcome to another episode of Who Was Really Better. And this time, we're gonna look upon the primary water poison type combinations of this generation. Actually, of course, Generation One Pokemon being Tentacruel, who's always been there, very, very ferocious Pokemon, versus, of course, the new Toxipex, which is just one of those really, really big annoyances in the meta, and for the very right reasons. And while, of course, these two Pokemon does actually differ quite a lot, actually, with what they can do, it still is a very interesting dialogue talking about their individual strengths, and hopefully in the end of this video, we'll find out who is really better between these two. But yeah, Tentacruel, of course, being super, super unique from day one, basically, haven't been rivaled, even with Quillfish in mind, it hasn't been outmaneuvered to which one is a superior water poison type, but Tuxpec came around, and it seems very, very relevant to talking about which one between these two are necessarily better. And since they do differ so much, we're actually going to talk about this combination that is Poison Water first. It is a superb typing combination. It resists Bug, Fairy, Fighting, Fire, Ice, Poison, Steel and Water. Actually are 8 resistances, so while they're weak to 3 things being Electric, Ground and Psychic, there is still so many resistances that this typing just do so well against, and the Poison typing does help the water typing out some bit actually but of course hitting neutral with grass if anything but it does remain in of course electric typing and does get two new of course weaknesses in ground and psychic but let's say that this typing combination is probably one of the best in the game so with that said we're gonna of course go over their abilities and tentacruel of course doesn't necessarily have the most interesting one clear body of course does making sure that you can't be lowered any stats but of course those kind of moves like imitation screech and stuff like that you will remain your base stat or your total base stat uh, without having to worry about any kind of decrease uh, liquid is a bit more interesting mainly because you will of course with moves such as giga drain or even leech life able to actually while you lose hp the opponent will actually not gain an HP, they will actually lose the amount of HP that they were supposed to recover. So it's a very, very situational kind of move, but at the same time, if you switch into Giga Drain and actually you have a Liquid Juice, yeah, that could actually sting as a Rocky Helmet damage. Right? It's actually not too bad. And Rain Dish, while very situational, does recover, of course, HP while you leave like a leftover. So during the rain, of course. So it's definitely not the worst kind of abilities, but compared to Toxic Packs, they are kind of underwhelming. When it comes to Toxic Effects though, Limber is the first ability here. While it's not the most interesting, mainly because of its 35 base speed, it still is something that it gets, so that's kind of cool. But the other two are definitely ones standing out a lot more. Merciless. If your opposing Pokemon is poisoned, you will score a crit. That is extremely dangerous, and mainly with, of course, the likes of Benoshock, for example. They're really, really pushing the boundary of how much damage that would definitely really can get. But of course, the one standing out the most is Regenerator. And that is mainly because it already gets, of course, a lot of stamina with this Pokemon because the type of combination are just that good. But being able to actually get HP while you're forced out, yeah, that pushes the boundary of how extremely bulky and tough this Pokemon really is to kill due to, as stated, the type of combination does kind of make it already soak really, really well and have Regenerator. Yeah, that makes that a lot worse. So with that said, of course, the last and foremost is actually their stand alone, because this is actually where they actually stand out the most, which Pokemon can really do what. Um, when it comes, of course, HP, we have 80, of course, Tentacruel versus 50, so that's actually quite the difference. Uh, Tentacruel clearly has a lot more HP. Uh, attack doesn't necessarily matter all that much. We have 70 versus 63, but none of them are necessarily any physical attacker in the first place. Uh, defenses, yeah. Tentacruel is not going to make everybody happy there. 65 versus 152. Yeah, that, that's a peak, if anything. Tentacruel definitely not as bulky in the defensive area. Special attack is where, of course, Tentacruel does shine a little bit again. But, of course, 80 versus 53. And while that doesn't sound like much, 80 is not definitely a good special attack. Remember that Water Poison is a very strong stab combination and can do a lot of damage to a lot of things and hit super effectively more often than not. Special Defense, we have 120 versus 142. While we have 20 more on Toxic Packs, 
It should be noted that Tetacruel, due to his natural HP of being higher, is by theory more specially defensive than of course Toxapex. That peak is not as vast as the defenses are. And of course when it comes to speed, Tentacruel has the very very mighty 100 base speed versus of course Toxapex who actually are able to outspeed a slow bro, which is awesome. But there's where it all ends. Tentacruel clearly is the one more offensively born and of course with a very very steady speed tier also is able to outpace a lot of things and definitely a lot of defensive Pokemon which usually are the ones able to switch against this Pokemon. Tentacruel's big strength here is that its offensive typing together with being defensively enough to stand against a lot of matchups actually are faster than usually the defensive Pokemon or wall breakers to be able to hit them super effectively. While Toxicroaks of course are able to of course maintain itself really well mainly soaking hits and retaliating or you know, just being an oiler in general this thing is definitely tough to kill so tentacruel is definitely giving a run for its money so with of course these facts out of the way it's very clear which pokemon is what tentacruel is clearly a more offensive one while toxapex clearly are vastly more defensive now of course with that said there are things here that they do difference where a lot against and that is their move pool when i first of course talk about of course what they share but as stated they do different quite a lot, and that's what's making both of these Pokemon very, very unique. Now, of course, their bread and butter when it comes to offensive variants is, of course, the Bogut, Sludge Bomb, and, of course, Skull, which is mainly the reason I use these Pokemon. For though Toxic Packs tend to only carry one of these, they're able to, due to, of course, their type of combinations, have a very, very good offensive pressure with these stabs in mind. And, of course, they do share Toxic Spikes and Haste. And they're both able to pull this off differently, but just as effective really. Tentacruel clearly because it's so fast that they're actually able to set up hazards or haste to definitely nullify a Pokemon. While Toxapex are just not a slack when it comes to being set up against because it can reset you. And of course it's defensive enough to, without really any big issue, set up Toxic Spike. So Toxapex clearly stands out just as well as Tentacruel here. But let's say that they do it in a different fashion. Now of course with that said there are a lot more things that they have not in common so we're gonna of course start with the new Pokemon being of course Toxapex and what it does have over of course Tentacruel. First thing and the foremost most important one is Recover. Having a recovery move in this type of combination is clearly one thing that makes Toxapex that much better and then of course we have the Stockpile combination is able to actually get more defensive. Uh, it's a very, very dangerous thing to be quite honest, but of course its signature move, Baneful Bunker, is probably one that most people are thinking about. Baneful Bunker makes, of course, opposing Pokemon, if it's attacking, poisoned, and uh, it's worked pretty much like Spiky Shield. It's uh, more of a supportive, defensive response, and quite honestly, making Toxic Pegs all the much tougher to be dealing with. Because with regular poison is very, very annoying to deal with, have the same kind of damage output as pre Gen 7's burn had, with of course roughly 12% in the damage. So it's a very, very tough combination, and making Toxic Pegs is that much tougher to be dealing with. But there's where it all ends. There aren't so many things Toxic Pegs are learning outside of, of course, its regular moves, and uh, it doesn't stand out too much compared to, of course, Tentacruel, which has a lot more. So, of course, what Tentacruel does lack in defensive capabilities, but of course lacking a proper recovery move, it does get offensively really, really, really scary. We both, of course, have Magicoat and Miracoat being both two superb moves. Magicoat standing out a little bit more mainly because able to, of course, reflect hazard. Uh, then, of course, we get moves such as, of course, a Barrier, uh, we get Ice Beam, and we get, of course, Acid, Omo, uh, Giga Drain, Knockoff, Sword Stance, so a lot of things going on, even gets the Dazzling Gleam if I remember correctly. So it's move pool, clearly a lot more interesting than of course Toxipex. Even though it does kind of struggle, it does have a lot of moves that does make it stand out. And of course, one thing that I need to mention is of course, Rapid Spin. This Pokemon is able to actually get Hazard out of the way, which of course can support a lot of teams effortlessly and making this Pokemon very, very, very scary to be dealing with because it just fits so many teams. So, its move pool definitely helps the viability of Tentacruel quite a lot. While Toxapex isn't able to do as much of things, they're still actually reliant to actually be, of course, compared against one another. But it's very clear that offensively, and of course by niche, Tentacruel is a lot better than Toxapex. 
So with that said, we're of course gonna go down to the After Fox himself and actually stating which one probably is better between these two. And um, it's not an easy task. I definitely feel like Tentacruel has a lot of things going on with it that makes it superior to Toxapex, but also at the same time, Toxapex does kind of embody the issue that these kind of type of combinations have for quite some time, having recovery, both regenerator and recover. Uh, the timing combination itself is one of the best defensive timing combinations in the game and it always been an issue with Tethercrawl and even Quillfish which is not mentioned here that they're never able to actually stand a long time for the battle, they're actually easily to be down usually of force actually reliant on Black Sludge or Leftovers to actually be relevant throughout this Wi-Fi battle itself and I do believe that's a foremost issue is that while Tethercrawl offensively and by default are superior to Toxapex there are a reason Toxic are so widely used, and that is that it can survive, it can maintain itself for actually quite a long time. And while it isn't as flexible as the other two, it does carve itself a very, very strong niche, and it's very, very easy for me to say that Toxic is the better between these two. And it's all because of the recovery that it gets. And I really feel that that is a very boring cop out because. Tentacruel are just that incredible of a Pokemon, definitely is a Pokemon that I feel are not getting as much love as it does deserve because it's a very dangerous Pokemon, but lack of recovery does of course lower its stamina, and with that type of combination being whittled down, yeah, the effectiveness of it is gonna of course be just as unreliant. That said, Tentacruel is a very very good Pokemon and Toxapex are just a response to an issue that this type of combination has for quite some time. I do believe once Tentacruel gets recovery that it's gonna knock it out of the park. Toxapex is not gonna stand a chance. So yeah guys, what do you guys think? Which Pokemon do you think is better? Be of course sure to tell me down below. And with that said, next week we're gonna look upon two really really scary Pokemon. So enjoy guys.